creo que... One minute to go. Yeah, it's already 5 a.m. Let's begin our homework day by today and feel by opening one family bar and being inside the family place. And then go to the May. So we give it a pay. Jumbe, but all family pledge one. Our family, the owner of the group, pledge to seek our original homeland and build the kingdom of God on earth and in heaven. The original ideal of creation by centering on true love. Two, our family, the owner of Sri Group, pledges to represent and become central to heaven and earth by sending the heavenly parents and true parents. We pledge to perfect the beautiful family way of your sons and daughters in our family, patriots in our nation, saints in the world and divine sons and daughters in heaven and on earth by centering on true love. Three, our family, the owner of two book, pledges to perfect the four great realms of life, the three great princes, and the realm of the royal family by centering on true love. Four, our family, the owner of two book, pledges to build the universal family in compassion heaven and earth, which is the heavenly parents ideal of creation, and perfect the world of freedom, peace, unity and happiness by centering on true love. Five, our family, the Earl of Two Yoga pledges, we strive every day to advance the unification of spirit world and physical world as subject and object partners by centering on true love. Six, our family, the owner of the group, pledges to become a family that moves heavenly fortune by embodying the heavenly parents and true parents and to perfect a family that conveys heaven's blessing to our community by centering on true love. Seven, our family, the owner of Tingham Group, pledges through living for the sake of others to perfect the world based in the council of heart, which is rooted in the original lineage by centering on true love. Eight, our family, 
the order of Sunil Gupta pledges, having entered the era of Sunil Gupta, to achieve the ideal of God and human beings united in love through absolute faith, absolute love, absolute obedience, and to perfect the realm of liberation and complete freedom in the kingdom of God on earth and in heaven by centering on true love. Let us pray. Our most beloved heavenly parents, today, Saturday, June the 13th, 2016, here at Washington Family Church, we pray for the success, the protection, and the good health of our true mother, the true children, and we pray as well for the unity with our true Father, who is in heaven, with all the true family, from our true mother, the true grandchildren, and all the members who are attending the true family, and all the staff there at the international headquarters attending our president, our elder sister, Sanjanim, and the vice president of the Family Federation, our elder brother, Isuk Min, and we pray as well for the UPS chairman, which was Chang Sik Yang, and his family and his staff, and all the organizations that are connecting there. We pray for their success and the continental leaders all over the world, including North America and the Caribbean, we pray for Archbishop Ki Hun Kim and his family, and we pray as well for all the national presidents of the Family Federation for World Peace in their national headquarters, especially here in America. We pray for Reverend Dr. Michael Balcom and his wife Komiko and the, his staff there at Four West Four Third Street. We pray for their success always, as we pray also for the Vice President, especially uh, Reverend Miller Stevens and his wife and children. And we pray as well for all the districts and regions all over the world, especially here in District 1. We pray for Reverend Ernest Patton and his wife Kato Patton and their children. We pray for their success always as we pray for all the center leaders all over the world and pastors. We pray for Reverend James Stewart of Tolson Center in Maryland and Father Adrian Bayo in Richmond, Virginia and Reverend Akira Ota in Norfolk and here in the Beltway. We pray for Miss Lynn June, Pastor Robert in Maryland Reverend Mrs. Jim Boothby and Reverend Greg and Mrs. Jones. And here in Washington, D.C., we pray for the ACLC Chairman, American Clergy and Leadership Conference, Archbishop Augustus Stallings and his wife and two children. And we pray for our pastor for the Washington Family Church, Reverend Xavier Oliver and his wife, Susan, and Lord Brianna, and all the council, and all the members who are connecting to this church, the Washington Family Church. We pray for each other's success as we witness to 430 couples and individuals, and giving even them the autobiography of the blessed or the global peaceful citizens that our true Father has made. We pray that we can be successful in really bringing them here, connecting to this church. And we claim all those people we have invited, and we pray that those who have prepared for us, our Heavenly Parents, will respond and really attend even today's one-day workshop, Divine Principle Workshop. And we pray for its success with 
Reverend Sona here, and we pray for all those people that we are inviting always, that they will be in our hearts, and they can come to you, and we pray that they will be bound to you in your presence in this lifetime, our Heavenly Parents. And we pray all of this in all our names and in my name, our Sebastian Francis, speak at the land of the Lord, and we pray Good morning. We're now on page 275 with a new topic, the phenomena of the last day centered on love. 75. Number one, when all, when are the last days for a subtopic? The term last days originated with Christianity, but a similar concept exists in many religions. Let us think about how the last days will occur. The world which the absolute God plans should be eternal. Once it starts, it must continue eternally. We must imagine that the reason the last days are needed in the world which God created is not because God planned for them, but because of the human fall. The cause of the last days is the fact that evil begun and goodness could not continue. Adam and Eve, who were created by a God of goodness, lived in the Garden of Eden which was also good. If Adam and Eve had not fallen, goodness would have continued, continued eternally. However, because of the fall, goodness ended without even starting. And we're now on page 276. You must understand that even though human beings were created to believe in God's words, our first human ancestors disbelieved, causing death to occur in this world. Another master appeared who seduced Adam and Eve into disbelieving God's word and disobeying his commandment. Because Adam and Eve did not believe God's word, were seduced by this master. Satan became the lord of this world. Fallen Adam and Eve became the objects of Satan as a result of the, their disbelief or belief. There began a world of destruction and death, which has no relationship to God. God cannot leave this world as it is. We must make goodness begin once again by restoring the world. When would the last days come? The phenomena of the last days occur when a heavenly person appears to cleanse the world by restoring to goodness the individual, family, clan, tribe, nation, and world. In other words, the last days occur when a central person with the power to eliminate all evil, to remove all the conditions for Satan's accusation, and to transcend to a world of goodness. The time when we overcome individually is the individual last days. When we overcome on the family level is the family level last days. And so on up to the world level last days. Historically, our ancestor came and went. Those who tried to fulfill their responsibility based on God's will always make uh, or 
always met sorry, with failure. Therefore, God made a promise that he would send a world-level representative who would be victorious, representing the individual, family, tribe, nation, and world, and who would appear before Satan with a dignified power. The one person is indeed the Messiah. The world will come when the evil world, which existed from the beginning of history, is ready to change into a world of goodness. Therefore, the last days mean the end of one age and the beginning of a new age. If the literal sun, moon, and earth, which God created, are destroyed in the last days, it would be the destruction by Satan, meaning God would have failed. The last days will occur without people knowing. When your watch strikes 12 o'clock, yesterday ends and today starts. But there, but is there anyone who perceives at midnight that from this instant it is a new day? I don't think so. But this does not mean that the time ending the previous day did not arrive. It is difficult to perceive Clearly the end of one day and the start of the next. Soon, autumn will be over and winter will come. However, autumn will end and winter will come without anyone knowing. There are many elders here, but is there anyone who, even once in his lifetime, recognized Clearly, the moment, the season, changed from autumn to winter. Without our knowing, winter comes, and then spring. However, this doesn't mean that there is no end point, no division between seasons. You must know that when Adam and Eve fell, they still did not have a clear response which allow them to decide what is good and what is wrong. And we're now on page 277. They also did not yet have the power of dominion or the ability to make the right decisions. The fall occurred when Adam and Eve turned left when they should have turned right. Adam and Eve fell in the midst of confusion, not yet knowing all the facts. Then, when are the last days? The time is now. This is because it is written in the Bible that when the last days come, the world will be divided into sheep and goats. The sheep are the people following the Lord and the goats are those who are not. Communism is on the left, and therefore it is the goats. It is written in the Bible that what is on the left hand side is the goat. A goat does not know its master even if it has one. Do communists know God? The people in the democratic world are the sheep because they know God. A sheep knows its master. The Bible writings about the last days describe all, all the phenomena of the present day. What is the nature of the last days? It is the time when everything is so chaotic and confused that people cannot tell the difference between day and night, or truth and falsehood. When we look at the world today, we cannot tell whether the people who believe in Jesus are good or those who do not believe in Jesus are good. 
Sometimes those people who do not believe in Jesus can be better. When we compare the communist world and the dem democratic world, the communist world seems to be externally more dignified and practical than the democratic world. We have entered an age in which we cannot clearly distinguish what is better from what is worse. You should know that these heralds of the last days. It is said that history repeats itself. We are entering the age in which we will reap what we have sown. The word restoration appeared because of the human fall. This is the principle of view, uh, viewpoint. Fallen humankind must be restored. The main purpose for God to carry on his providence is to restore human beings to their original position. Why did man and woman fall? They fell because of satanic love. Then, what is satanic or fallen love? It is self-centered love, which separates individuals rather than uniting them. What then would be the nature of the last days? It is a time when all people think of their individual love as absolute. The world's last days will occur centering on fallen love. In other words, in the last days, individualistic love will be the thought of the thought of as absolute love for the nation society family will be denied and self-centered love will be approved instead of love based on morality and ethics animal like carnal love will be rampant in the world Today, impure love has reached the stage in which neither parents, the nation, nor the world can stop the corrupt sexual acts of young people and solve these problems. Why has Satan brought humankind down to the state of corruption? It is because God has been carrying out a providence centered upon love for the whole. In order to hinder God's providence, Satan has no way but to pull man and woman in the opposite direction. And we're now on page 278. What is Satan's greatest goal? It is to destroy human love completely. Conversely, God is trying to lead humanity to the original world of love. And we have subtopic number two. You want to read? It's already 522. Okay. The phenomena of the last days, the fall of the younger generation. When did Adam and Eve fall? It was during their teens. They were not old, centering upon what did they fall? They fell centering on love and two different kinds of love appeared. As a result of this illicit love relationship, evil seeds were sown throughout the world. These gradually expanded, causing the world to divide into two and creating the problem of right and left. When a storm sweeps across the world from the most developed to the least developed nations, centering on the problem of love, you know that it is the last days of the world. We reap what we sow. When did Adam and Eve fall? They fell during their teen years. A false love was sown and humankind was sown 
through these false loves. The time must come to harvest the fruit. Today, no matter where we go, the most serious social problem is the ethical problem of the younger generation. Through the universal law of cause and effect, the sown seed bore the, bore the exactly corresponding results. We must solve and overcome this. Now young people are falling, hiding beyond or behind the trees. This is because Adam and Eve had an illicit relationship behind trees without the permission of their parents because Adam and Eve sowed this seed we now are harvesting the same action. The time is coming when the same phenomena will occur throughout the world transcending national borders, age, ideology and principles. This is the last days. Has this time arrived or not? Today, juvenile delinquency is widespread. This is because of the fall. The problem of university students, people in their teens and twenties, is very serious. Those young people even sell out their own country if they have the desire. When they protest, the nation is puzzled. Isn't that the case? When the younger generation demonstrates, the whole nation rocks. Demonstrations and subversives, uh, uh, subversive activities started by young people are taking place everywhere. Sexual problems are also an issue. When they fall, how do they do it? They do as they wish, without their parents' permission. Even when husband and wife love each other, they do as they wish. Love is the origin and power of life and should follow heavenly law. But it is becoming a game out on the streets with people dancing around and, in, and engaging in corrupt activities. This phenomena indicate that it is the last days. And we're now on page 279. Today, it, what is the reality? We already are too late. Young people are poisoned by drugs and satanic love and free sex are rampant. The whole free world is polluted by the corrupt standard in the United States. Americans are traveling around the world seducing women of every nation. They're becoming unfaithful. If we cannot solve this problem, the United States and the world will be destroyed. The reason Sodom and Gomorrah perished was because of luxury, disbelief, and false love. Rome perished also not because of any outside power, but because of love towards family, society, and nation were destroyed and the people's power of life diminished and perished. In these respects, America is no different from Rome. Humankind inheriting the fallen blood lineage sown by the evil seed has now reached the time of harvesting the result. I know that as of recently the fall of young people is increasing in Japan also. This means the autumn time is coming when we have to harvest on the worldwide level the evil seed sown by the mistake in the Garden of Eden. When this time comes, there should appear people or movements 
calling for new ideal relationships between men and women. The fact that a movement calling for ideal relationships have appeared is tremendous and happy news for the whole world. After World War II, the United States fell into the situation we see today because of its idea the world is ours, centering on itself only without trying to move toward the land of the world level Canaan. America does not have a true goal. I shed tears standing on Fifth Avenue in New York City. New York, New York is proud of having the Empire State Building and the World Trade Center. But what are they going to do now? Accidents will happen when God leaves those places. God blessed this country for a reason. America was to do everything, even the construction of buildings, in the name of God. But America is going in the opposite direction and becoming spoiled. If you look around the streets dur during rush hour, you see young people gathering, becoming corrupt. Did God bless this country so that they, this would happen? There should be young people standing up to start a new movement for purity, determined to save the world, and there are none. If there were even a few young people gathering around one rock, symbolizing an altar, praying with tears to save the world, this would bring one point of happiness. You should know that God has now left New York City. There is a rumor now around the world that New York is a city of the devil. God did not bless this country hoping to create a city where murders are common occurrence and women are raped in the middle of the day. The country has all the reasons to perish. Young people are corrupt. I am sure you know that drug problems among young people are now very serious. Family have, or families have broken down and racism will become a greater and greater problem from now on. Furthermore, there is an increasing possibility that the country will be threatened by communism and economic panic will occur. Why do these things happen? It is because God has departed. God should be dwelling throughout the United States, but he is living from every corner of America. God has left from your heart. God has left the family, society, church, and government. So now it's already 5.32. We will end our Hunduke at page 280. And tomorrow we will be reading subtopic number 3, The Reality of Satan in the Last Days. And we read today starting on page 275, the phenomena of the last day centered on love. Okay, is there anyone who wants to share about the reading today? Yes, uh, that was interesting reading that word this morning, brothers and sisters. And uh, I thought about what Father was saying in the Garden of Eden, how they were hiding behind the trees, uh, having sex. And as we know, uh, Dr. Sung Hung Lee wrote a book with uh, two parents' permission about the spirit world. 
and he had visited several key players in this providential history, and Adam and Eve was, of course, among those people, or spirits, however you want to, uh-oh, my glasses go. So anyway, it was something that she said, Eve said that Lucifer guided her well and taught her uh, about the office of sex. And that uh, she, uh, well, God had uh, blessed Lucifer, told him to raise Adam and Eve and protect them and love them. However, Lucifer got other things in his mind where he wanted to be in the same position as uh, uh, that of Adam and Eve. He felt that he was receiving less, less love, and he wanted the same love that Adam and Eve had. So in the process of that, he, uh, for four years, according to the first president of the Unification Church, his wife, she wrote, she wrote a book, and uh, he plotted to seduce Eve. So as in today's world, uh, from my own experience, because I was raised in an environment where there was no standards, you know, and, and I come from a Christian background, okay, but there was no standards in the marriage. So you got uh, people putting their children on birth control pills. It's, it's like, it's okay for you to have sex. Just, you know, don't have any babies. But that don't work either. And, uh, you know, for the wrong reason. Take birth control pills, wear condoms just to have sex. They, because they don't realize the holiness and the original value of their sexual organs, they uh, live this lifestyle, as we read this morning, uh, hiding in the trees and in the, in the grass and in the dark. And Father also spoke about it being a phenomenon, worldwide phenomenon, where young people in their teens will fall. So this is what we're trying to educate people about and prevent, especially the second generation, uh, uh, prevent them from plummeting. That, that rule still applies to every person on this planet. You have to fulfill that first blessing before you can move to the second blessing. You have to. But the world, the way it is now, as the brother read this morning, New York and San Francisco, you know, it's the second and the third blessing they're interested in, not the first one. And he's also spoke about God's heart, that, that you know, people don't have God in their heart anymore. So we need to really, really, really pray for the United States. Father spoke about Solomon the more he spoke about Rome. Rome destroyed itself. Illicit sex, free sex, homosexuality. You know, these are the things that corrupt. It comes from the fallen angels. They do that. So let us, brothers and sisters, connect and read Father's words, you know, not just at five, but during the process of the day, think about what Father is teaching us so that we may teach others. And you have a blessed day. Yes, anybody else wants to share about our reading today? So, uh, as we have read today, then one, uh, when are the last day? And Father said, the time is now. It is because it is written in the Bible that when the last days come, the world will be divided into sheep and goats. The sheep are the people following the Lord, and the goats are those who are not. So communism is on the left, and therefore it is the goat. And it is written in the Bible that what is on the left-hand side is the goat. And the goat does not know its master even it has one. So do communists know God? The people in the democratic world are the sheep because they know God. A sheep knows its master. The Bible writings about the last days describe all the phenomena of the present day. So what is happening right now is the last days. 
And uh, as we have read also today, the phenomena of the last days, you know, the fall of the younger generation. Uh, today, what is the reality? We are already too late. Young people are poisoned by drugs and satanic love and free sex are rampant. So Americans traveling around the world seducing women of every nation and they are becoming unfaithful. So just months ago we read about you know the the, uh, the advanced party of our president the secret service they hired women and these women complain about them and these are married people and it's true they became unfaithful because they availed of the services of prostitutes and this was exposed. So we are reaping what happened in the Garden of Eden. So the reason Sodom and Gomorrah perish is because of luxury, disbelief, and false love. And Rome also, as our sister Anita has perished not because of any outside power, but because of love toward family, society, and nation were destroyed. The people's power of life diminished and perished. In these respects, America is no different from Rome. So there are many uh, pools, Roman pools, bath houses, and, you know, that uh, they were doing orgies and many things, these Romans. And it infected even the family. They had venereal disease. And it brought down the whole empire, which is so great. It was not from outside, but inside. You know, they become... Uh, disunited, divided, and the Rome perished. So uh, tomorrow we'll be reading about the reality of Satan in the last day. So anyone else who wants to share about our reading today? So the the one that makes uh, God happy is like only a few people will go to a rock and make it as an altar and they pray for purity and for the uh, success of these young people who, you know, espouse all the goodness in this world. They, they are pure before marriage and they don't you know, we have this pure love alliance that we uh, used in many nations, and it was effective in inviting high school students in Thailand and from grades, grades five and above. It, uh, it educated these young people not to have even sexual relationship before marriage and keep their purity before marriage. And during marriage too, they won't have any extra marital affairs. And they pledge this in front of many other students and their teachers. And uh, that is uh, a very good way to make aware the children who are growing up so fast. Because when they become adolescents, as we have read today, they are very, very exposed to all kinds of, uh, uh, you know, inputs from the environment and even the opposite sex. Okay, so uh, is there anyone else who wants to share from our reading today? Anyone from the teleconference?
Okay, so if there is none, we will read tomorrow the reality of Satan in the last days. Okay, let's all rise and have unison prayer. Our most beloved Heavenly Parent, we're so thankful for this reading today, for giving us hope, for guiding us to bring the youth to just keep their purity and if they have done so already committed this corruption they should as the pure love alliance if they heard about the principle they should stop doing it and prepare themselves for the eventual blessing that we are offering in our church we pray our heavenly parents that we can really propagate this pure love alliance and the true family values and the divine principles to as many people as we can in Russia is being uh, taught to high school students and even in the Far East is also being taught in their moral values the, the divine principles we pray, our Heavenly Parents, that God will not depart the United States as we can bring back prayer in the classroom. And we pray for more youth that espouse purity and we pray for their success always. The second generation as they conquer this world and change this world. And we thank you, our Heavenly Parents, for all the support. And we pray for your continued support from all the good spiritual world, all the good spirits, absolute good spirits, our good human ancestors. We pray for each other, and we pray for the success of all the blessed families connecting to the Watson Family Church. And we pray all of this. In all our names and in my name, as an act of Francis Kikagalan, blessed Central family. Our Jew, our Jew, our Jew. Welcome, sisters and brothers of a great and wonderful day. Today is Saturday. It will still be hot, uh, but there will be thunderstorms in the afternoon. Take care. Have a great and wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.